couple of other lighter elements that we've spotted Absolutely. on those inside pages of the of the Sunday paper. Seema, I think you're going to start with, with one you've spotted. With Lucy. Yeah, Lucy in the sky with diamonds on quest to Jupiter asteroids. So this is a good story. You can see the picture there for you. And um, the story is about uh, the Lucy spacecraft blasting off, loaded with diamonds to explore eight Trojan asteroids. Uh, in Jupiter, near Jupiter, should I say. And that picture kind of says it all. I mean, it's really startling. And look at that sky. I mean, I'm really into photography. And I must say, that is a fantastic picture. What do you yeah, think? Yeah, it, it, it's, it, you've got to get your timing right, haven't you? Doing a bit of photography you do, like that. You do. A couple of seconds later and poof, it's gone. <laughs> you've it lost it. It's been up there for 12 years, I think I was hearing on, on breakfast <laughs> yesterday. This is one of my favourite stories in the paper. This is in the Mail on Sunday. All of us tell two fibs a day. Two. Is that is that a lie? You said two. Do you do two. do you do more than two? Not at all. I'm a journalist. <laughs> I don't do that. It's 14 minutes past six in the morning. Have you told a fib yet, Seema, today? Oh, have I? Let me have a think. I can't think this of one. This is a one. confession. Um, or maybe something nice, like you know, is the coffee okay? Yeah, the coffee's great. <laughs> something like that. My tie is that any good? Yeah, yeah. Uh, were you, were you loving it. On my tie. <laughs> yeah. So this is saying apparently. <laughs> but apparently it's long been established that we, uh, that we tell on average two fibs a day. But, according to a new study, most untruths are told by a few super liars <laughs> and the rest of us are in fact fairly honest. It's the curse of the average, you see. We're all accused of telling two fibs a day. Some of us tell ten and the rest of us don't tell any. Don't tell any. So, here we have a picture of, who do you think that is? It's the actress who is playing Princess Diana in Ooh. The Crown. And I must say, there really is a resemblance, and I don't know if you've been watching it, it's but um, they've done actually, very well with it? makeup. I mean, to be honest, throughout the whole series, characters really do look like who they are mm. impersonating. So her name is Elizabeth Debicki. Excuse me if I haven't said that right. Um, leans back on a jet ski, sticks out her tongue, and looks the spitting image of Princess die if you're not watching you've got to watch it it is fantastic you watch the crown well on my current rate of watching the crown my wife and i are still at the point where the queen hasn't yet even been coronated oh blimey you're <laughs> so you really rate, are behind so at this rate i'm not going to get up to the princess diana years <laughs> until about 2027 i reckon <laughs> i won't ask you how old you'll be then <laughs> no no no, no exactly. <laughs> well actually i'll be the same age well, exactly. there you go it, we've just uh, seen we're reflecting on both into our into our 40s oh no i can't believe you've just told so the nation our age 50s i think before i get to the day thanks for that chris uh, 16 <laughs> minutes past six let's check in on the weather